First time getting up in the mountains in the Olympics. Slept way up on that ridge line up there, and it's really hot and humid up here at like 5,500 feet or so. So it'll be interesting to see what the weather does today. Uh, woke up with a few drops of rain on my tent this morning. swim at this lake got some layers of sweat off me felt good wasn't that cold either
last pass of the trail. Mount Olympus and that is the Pacific Ocean we're about to leave the mountains we're good. We're going off a ridge down to sea level and then we walk on the beach for a bit. So last time we'll be in the mountains on the PNT. Time is a Philly. Box 17. Get this on video. Realities of the PNT. <laughs> Philly. Philly carried the boat. <laughs> <laughs>
How would you describe this landscape? Barren, yet fruitful. Ominous, yet hopeful. Austere, yet comforting. Just Amen. 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 <laughs> This Providence let us Like a big whale rib bone. Pretty cool. It's the last day, about eight in the morning. Started walking at 4 30. It's the last day we started walking at 4 30 in the morning and I'm real tired. About eight o'clock, had a couple hours or so of really rough rock hopping and slick wet rocks. Misting and raining a bit so finally getting those P and W vibes. And uh yeah last day. I feel like we did it, you know? We really came through. We persevered through the heat. We didn't flip. You didn't flip like a bitch. I didn't flip like a bitch. <laughs> we brought baby sock all the way to the beach. Feel good. And that was it. The Olympics were an unbelievably beautiful, wild, and rugged place to end a walk. After hanging out almost nonstop for the entire trail, the temporary nomadic tribe split. When I first chose the PNT for my next adventure, I thought it'd be a solo endeavor. I'm sure hiking it alone would have been a great experience, but I'm so lucky to have been able to experience this gem with such an amazing group of humans. Thanks to the PNTA, trail crew volunteers, trail angels, and anyone who lets six smelly weirdos into their car. I'll cherish this adventure until my last breath.